All right, finally, we are on the very last mission of this game. So, so talk talk to Poke. Pokel. Is he here? Oh, we gotta go to the tree of mana, duh. Legend of Mana. The Mana Goddess was the light and thus she could not seek herself. She decreed that some of her light was will become shadow and first saw herself. She gave birth to this universe with all within it by thought alone and thus everything we see and feel has a common beginning for her light. And so the desire to know oneself is that shadow separates us from her radiance. To test not the darkness, that is all you need to remember. Words are your strength, and the goddess will speak to you. If you are ready to embrace that power, then proceed. Now they did recommend that I go back and face the golem uh, at Bejeweled City because that gives out a lot of experience and help us level up quickly. But um, I just want to go ahead and beat this thing. Angel Feather. to the sanctuary ain't they don't have not one save point here
piece. Ether. I am the light, I am the darkness. One half of me you fought in the past, I create, I destroy, I create again. I am love. Not all of me is just, not all of me is pure. That is only one half of me, those who desire to draw their swords in the name of righteousness. But by their actions, mankind's freedom is lost and truth is buried. I shall show you my darkness. You must defeat me, you, must become, you will become a hero. Open the path to those who seek me. I was a ceiling. I'm a sprouting. I came here to heal the mana tree. The mana tree is calling. I gotta go. Mm. The wind shall take thee. What could that possibly mean?
That's the end of the game now. Alright then, we done beat this thing. I ain't gonna lie, I kinda expected the final boss to be kinda harder. A little bit more difficult, but then again, I got the best sword in the game, so... It does a lot of damage. Fairly easy. Plants are all connected by our roots. We may look separate beings, but we're one plant in our real dimension. Everyone with a soul eventually dis disappears eventually. The sproutlings don't have souls, so we always stay. The poet Pokel says so. I also like you. Know, also, I also like you know counting the stars. There must be so many stars up there. All the sproutlings are gone. I knew I should have kept a few to sell them premium prices. Now what am I going to do? I mean, you're supposed to get flower seeds. The wind tells us of the weather and the seasons. We're only here because we like staying here. Wait, when the hell did he get there? Oh, so that, so that was it. Okay, then. So we officially beat Legends of Mana. After how many months? Like two months? This game could have probably been beaten within a, a couple of weeks if I didn't get uh, complacent with it. I will say this, though. I did not beat the original PS1 game. Um... I didn't have a PlayStation 1 back in the day. I was with a friend. He had a PlayStation 1. So, no, it was my cousin who had a PlayStation 1. And he brought it with him when he came to visit me. I was living in I was living in a different city than he was. So when he came visit me in the summer, I don't know if I went to go visit him or he went to come visit me and we played Legends of Mana together. And I didn't get to see him beat the game. I mean, I played it with him, but I didn't get a chance to really beat it myself. But I will say, I did enjoy the game for, you know, for the time I played it. So when they told me that, so when I found out that Legends of Mana was getting a, a remaster for the PS4, I had to get it. So most definitely, what the fuck going on there? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'm glad I was finally able to beat it. It was kind of confusing at points because the the walkthrough that I was, the guide that I was following, was for the original PS1 game and not for the PS4 re or uh, for the PS4 remaster. It wasn't for the PS4 remaster, so they changed some things in the remaster that wasn't in the original game. For example, at the Gato. That they in in the remaster they call it the caves, but in the original they call it the dungeon. Uh, so it, that could be kind of confusing to some people, especially when you're trying to follow the the guide. Um, I forgot to go that back to that what you call them to get the uh, the power ring or whatever the hell I was supposed to get, but whatever. Uh, I just remembered. Um, They don't explain everything that you're supposed to do at certain points in that walkthrough either. For example, when they don't tell you that when you talk to the... It was just a couple of quests ago. I was supposed to... When I was talking to the... When I was getting the water from the Oasis. And I was supposed to tell the bartender in L Lumeria that I had a barrel for a soul. They didn't tell me I was supposed to agree with the guy and say that I did have a barrel for a soul. So I just thought I was just supposed to talk to him. I didn't think I was supposed to get anything from him. They, like they did, the, the walkthrough didn't explain that. So, um, it was that. Outside of that, I mean, I can only imagine how difficult it was to play this game. Uh, 
without the guide because it's so much stuff that's so easily missed that you wouldn't even think that you were missing anything so a, a, you would have to play the game a couple times through trial and error and find out what was what because even while you're on one mission it's times where another mission would you know another quest line or just start up during that mission that you're on during that quest that you're on and you can completely miss the quest that you're currently doing so that's something to look out for but it was some cool moments um, I don't think they really explain the Jumi too well I mean it wasn't like no ending for him like I don't know if Black Pearl they which, if they if they got resurrected or not um, I, I mean I think they did in that little moment where they brought him back to life from stone but who knows because I think El Azul, he got his gem stolen like in, in that boss fight and then he came back to life with everybody else so I'm assuming everybody came back to life that's all I can assume supposedly there's something after the end credits so let's watch that Man. That was it. Now I think this game offers a new game plus. It allows you to keep all of the I think it allows you to, uh, it allows you to keep everything. I, th I, th I think you get like a tome as well. Play, select the play area, dark and dark. care about seeing all that well, they don't let you they don't let you skip it
You want to save your progress or configure settings. It's disabled in certain situations like story scenes. Said it was a tome in here. And the forbidden tome. What's the main piece? No. It's like a nightmare? Yes. Wait, hold on, see what happened if we if we say no to the nightmare. Do we want to have a future? No future mode. I was just put it in nightmare mode because I think this is with no future mode I think you can't save gentlemen that was it for legends of mana we officially finished this game completely done there's nothing else left for, for me to do in this game um you know i have little to no interest to play or you know do a, a replay of this i think i didn't did everything um there was a couple missions that i missed i don't know if i would have got anything for for allowing cactus to record everything but yeah, I think I'm through. So with that being said, thank you guys for joining me for Legends of Mana playthrough. I know it took a while for me to finish it, but we're officially done. So until next time, peace. And remember to keep on gaming. Remember to be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy in battle. World Warriors Collective. <laughs>